In this video, I show you the module configuration of a Mitsubishi IQF FX5U CPU in the Mailsoft Navigator. Hello, welcome back. This is Gerd Seller from Seller Pass Control Systems and here I show you how you make a module configuration in a Mailsoft Navigator. I got a blank navigator window open for you and on the workspace you can see the module configuration right here. You select a new module configuration IQF series. Wait a few seconds for the windows to pop up and then on the right side here you get a selection of all the available modules that you can put in this configuration. In this case, I will just use uh, FX5U 32MRDS. Just drag and drop it over here in your module configuration and then it is available already on here. If you need any further modules for input or output, you got your uh, available modules all on here on the left on the right side it would say you just want to put a five uh, eight eight digital inputs in there and eight digital outputs and then you're all set on here and if you want to if you want to put this in your GX Vault 3, all you need to do is to do a double click. You select the language of your uh, the programming language, pretty much. I'm going to do a letter language. Project name. Mm, you can use anything you want. And then you can choose either only create or basically if you want to start work already you can just click on open and create and then your GX Work 3 will open it up in a few seconds and you will be able to do your programming, write a program to the needs that you require. There it is, and there you go. And now you can see the module configuration on here again. And then here you can start your programming basically in the scan, uh, call, and start here. This I will explain to you in another video. Once you got your configuration done, you can easily open the GXWorks program right from the Melsoft Navigator just by opening it in the tree here in the module configuration and double click on your name that you gave it and then it will just open. And that was already it for the module configuration and later on I will show you also the network configuration that will be in the next video and i thank you for watching my video about the module configuration for an fx5u from mitsubishi thank you very much